Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel, Call Me Biz. Anthony Chesselnick, <laughs> all right? A lot of y'all been telling me, yo, you gotta do Anthony Chesselnick will drop your baby. First of all, that title is insane already. Uh, but I already know his style of comedy, so I'm expecting the best. <laughs> Look, if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment, all right? Let me know you were here. No more ghost watching in 2024. If you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here. I appreciate that. That's love. <laughs> That's love. Uh, let's go ahead and watch. All right, guys, listen. Jokes are all well and good. I'd like to take a couple minutes right now and talk about something that is important to me. And I will preface this by saying there's a lot of people right now who say that stand-up comedians should just stick to comedy and not talk about anything else. I disagree. I think that stand-up comedy doesn't always have to be funny. Stand-up comedy doesn't always have to be entertaining. Sometimes it's about speaking truth to power. Sometimes it's about pointing out wrongs in the world, even though it might not be popular. So please, indulge me. With all the terrible things going on in America right now, and you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> with all the terrible things going on in this country right now, the thing that drives me the most crazy are the people who see all this awful stuff happening, and they still flip out over the little things. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve in America today are people who see all this horrible stuff going on and yet they still overreact to shit that just does not matter. <laughs> For example, have you ever dropped a baby? <laughs> Holy shit, do people overreact. <laughs> you drop a baby in America today, I swear, people hit the roof before the baby even touches the floor. <laughs> That's a fact, though. Wow. And it's not a big deal. How do I know? Because I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I don't think I've ever held a baby <laughs> to completion. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> and you might be thinking, Anthony, how could you drop a baby? You ever held a baby? <laughs> how could you not? It's so easy. <laughs> it's a two-step process. Maybe less. Should you ask Anthony, why would anyone ever let you hold their baby? The answer is simple. Negligence. I love it. It's a hobby. The only negative, the only drawback as far as I'm concerned, the embarrassment. People try to shame you when you drop their baby. <laughs> Even though I almost always make it look like an accident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I> almost always. <laughs> That's why this is so great. You ever do this? You ever drop a baby? And then scoop it right back up before anybody sees you? No shit, <laughs> best feeling in the world. <laughs> you just hand the baby back and no one is the wiser. Especially not that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let people hold your baby, man. Happened to me just last weekend. I was at a party. 
One of my friends came up and said, Anthony, I gotta go to the bathroom. Will you hold my baby? <laughs> and I tell the truth. I'm always 100% honest. I say, yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> Only if they knew. <laughs> Held that baby 30, 45 seconds, a personal best. <laughs> Dropped the baby. <laughs> Scooped it right back up before anybody saw me. And it was close, too. Had to run down three flights of stairs. <laughs> Drop the baby. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I don't like, there's certain thing about babies that I don't like, bro. Like, I don't like the way <laughs> newborn babies look. I never seen a newborn baby that I thought was cute, bro. And then like around when they get to like eight months, seven months, and you're like, oh, that's a cutie. Yeah, I could, I could vibe with that. And I don't like holding newborn babies. <laughs> I don't, and I've had to so many times. See, I'm the opposite of him. He's just, he's just dropping and putting babies. I'm afraid that you're gonna drop them because they're so like, if you ever held a baby, they're so like fragile, like even more fragile than like some glass. They're like, they're like, damn, if, if, if this thing falls, it's a wrap. Like life is done. Anyways, that's that's why I don't like holding babies. And I remember when my when my brother had his baby, uh, he was like, "Yeah, hold 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 her." And I was like, "Oh man, I don't want I don't want to hold her." And you're not saying that because you know you know you feel me. You don't want to like. I don't like holding. I don't like holding new babies, man. And I've had to hold so many new babies in my lifetime. It's crazy. Damn, can't think of it. All my brothers and sisters got kids. I'm the only one that don't. Oh, no, no, no. Me and my oldest brother, we're the, we're the only two that don't have kids. Oh, they all got kids. The fuck am I doing with my life? Hmm. That's, that's interesting. Nah, Anthony's hilarious. <laughs> Imagine someone start a sentence with, have you ever dropped a baby? Like, what? What kind of psycho mission are you on? That's hilarious, though. Uh... I don't think I've ever seen someone drop a baby, and I don't think it would be as funny as this joke is, but it's hilarious to think about it. Um, yeah, he's, he's good. I feel like all the comedians I've been doing, they have one special um, thing about them. They know how to take the taboo and twist it and make it something that you could, you know, that you could laugh at. Uh, <laughs> I seen uh what's her name? What's her face? Damn. I always forget people. That's what they are gonna realize about me. Every time I'm trying to think of a name, I always forget it. Uh this girl, the girl that made the show, um fuck, I can't even remember the show name neither. Anyways, look, <laughs> I'll see y'all. Anyways, look, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you what I, I was gonna tell you without telling you the name of her or the it's Issa Rae, right? Issa Rae, somebody handed her a baby and she had a vision. <laughs> She 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 just blacked out and just punted the baby and said fuck that baby. She didn't punt it. She she said Jordan, fuck that baby. And then she snapped back to reality. Nobody wanna hold your kids, man. Especially if you're a stranger. If you're a stranger, of course I love holding my nieces and, and my nephews. Always. They're my babies. But I'm talking about strangers, man. Nobody want to hold your kids. Nobody, like, uh, man. I've seen some ugly-ass babies, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be real. Y'all going to think this is this is mean. This is not mean. This is the truth. Uh, that's why I don't judge babies' looks. All right? Uh, when everybody's saying, it's a cutie. And then they ask you, isn't she cute or isn't he cute? And you're like, stop putting pressure on this baby early, all right? Let the baby just be a baby. You feel me? Anybody think that baby's cute? Uh, I beg to differ. Uh, but it is what it is, man. Stop letting people hold your babies. <laughs> Motherfucker like Anthony hold your baby. And then next time you get your baby, the back of your baby head flat. And you trying to think, damn, did my baby always had a flat back head? 
but you don't know. <laughs> you can't accuse somebody of dropping your baby and giving your baby a flat back head, but you don't know. Quit letting motherfuckers hold your baby, man. <laughs> Yo, I want to see more of Anthony. Y'all let me know what's next in the conversation below, and I'll see you in the next one. Get what you want to be all